Right, uh, we'll try this out. It's supposed to be a short game. Be good to get us back into it. I was going to do Genesis Noir as a, a full series, but um, for some reason, um, yeah, I messed up the audio. So in the VODs, there's no audio. So, I mean, you know, that happened. And I did that. <clears throat> but this looks like a really nice game. Look, looked like it was pretty, um, pretty enjoyable to watch. Pretty relaxing. So, you know, not going to be any raging or anything. It's actually just going to be a pure zen moment, you know. Get in your deep breaths. Probably put you to sleep, which is good, you know, if we're about to go to sleep anyway. This is the first tree. I don't know where the cam's going to have to go or anything, but we'll see. Press enter to start. First puzzle. Beat. Options. Look, as I was saying, options. Commentary mode. Do I want that on? Hi, my name is David Whaley, and I'm the creator of the first tree. Oh, I also maybe voice a character song. named Joseph. So I just okay. Now, this is going to be even more epic, because no commentary. Look at this epic shot. Plus, he said he's voiced a character in here, so I'm guessing it won't be reading. It's going to be voiced actors, so, which is good. Although, I don't know if the fox is going to have a voice. Who knows? Right. Am I controlling anything? WSID in? Yeah, yeah. Are you awake? Mm -hmm. I thought I heard you get up. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about about him? Yeah, a bit. You should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. okay. What else is on your mind? I don't know. It seems weird, but I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain. It was all a bit. It was all a dream. It was a bit dank. Those eyes. I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow. Looking for something. Do you think it has to do with with you and there we go. what's been going on? I don't know. It oh, double drum. Major. Okay. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. As we know, Foxy's well, have double if jump. You're not going to sleep anyway. You should tell me. Oh, okay. I, I thought she was thought she was gonna say something else. Alright. Well, if you're not gonna go to sleep anyway, then uh wait. To be honest, the voice acting is reminding me already of, um... What's the one with the lighthouse that I played? Firewatch. That was a damn good game. But I think it reminds me of Firewatch already because of, um... Yeah. Art style and the, and the commentary going over the top of it, so... But I don't know. I'm guessing it's going to be fairly linear, even though I am exploring to the sides and stuff. There doesn't seem to be too much there. Oh. We found... Oh, no. This is not good, is it? So, not far from her home... She followed that path to something unexpected. Um, do we know this one? In the dream? No? That's all we're getting. Okay. I thought there's going to be more to that. She Obviously dead. Stay, with she had to find her other two children. So she took that path. She followed it towards something ancient. Something with answers. Okay. Interesting. So it's all a dream so far. This is the the first the first bit, which I don't, I'm not I'm not entirely sure I like that as a premise. But Fox there we go. High and low, searching for any sign of her cubs. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell, all their own. The land was trying to tell my story, too. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. Hmm, okay. So he's, he's going off for this, oh, the first tree, I guess, or whatever, yeah. 
I don't know if I actually want to... Do I? Do I? Do I? Can I do anything with these? No. No, no I don't think so. <laughs> Is the first tree the first one that existed? Or... The first one... Because obviously there's plenty of trees out here. We can see that. Why would, Why is there a kid's play... Okay. Kids play toys out there too. Kind of odd. I don't want to go too far off the path. Oh, oh, it's like... Oh, okay. So it's going to be like... Because it's in a dream, isn't it? I guess. So it's not going to make sense in terms of... Directly making sense. There's a lot of kids stuff out here. Oh. Let me add him. I think I went backwards up that, but that'll do. Something over there, too. There we go. Ooh. You gonna have a dig? As a kid, did you ever do show and tell in your class? Yeah, I, I think I only did it once. When I was in the fourth grade. You know how my life was around then. I wanted to show my class what helped pass the time and distract me. So I brought a dozen paper cranes I had made. I think I told everyone how badly I wanted to be a bird and fly, embarrassingly enough. Don't be embarrassed. Every kid wants to fly. For me, it was another toy for my dad, a wooden boat. I remember guarding it so carefully in my hands as I walked into class. When I sat down, a group of boys immediately made fun of it. They asked which trash can I found it in. The that was the boat they'd be dug up, dug up right? Toy. When I got up, I didn't even want to tell them my dad had carved it. I said it was a joke gift my friends had given me. Kids can be so cruel. Some of them are. I shouldn't have let them get to me, but it did. It's amazing we bounced back at all. And he didn't even tell them that he wanted to be a, a fox in that whole thing, did he? You know, that would have probably made it worse. You know, not that it's a worse thing, eh? Eh? It's up to you if you want to be, you know, if you want to be a fox, I guess. Um, I'm collecting these things. I'm not 100% sure whether I need to collect a lot of them. What's going on with it? I'm just free roaming at the moment, which is pretty cool, actually. As I said, get in your zen place. This is what it's going to be, you know? Running around, exploring. Hearing about the childhood of this guy, I guess. He got something buried deep inside him. That he wants to be a fox all along. Right. Another digging spot. Do you remember what my dad did for a living? Wasn't he like a lumberjack? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If we canvas. Then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even after working a 50 hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That Bit of weeping cedar? was the first toy I can remember, and I loved ah, it. Ah, that's Just what from happened. At a young age, I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. Out in the woods again, like a lumberjack, just like Firewatch. Is it the same? I don't think it's the same people who make this. I imagine this is a... Well, there wasn't very many people who made Firewatch, I don't think. Like a big, huge studio or anything. But I imagine this is like... The two people, maybe, that are talking that made this? I don't know. Whee! Collecting the stars? Collect all the stars from the sky. Got the lucky number 13 now. It looks looks quite nice anyway. I don't know when it came out, actually. I'm not sure what year it came out. I don't have the, full, the graphics fully cranked or anything. More snowflakes. They're going to lead me to this special tree. The tree. The first tree. Oh, we're going to do a cutscene. Okay, I thought it was all just going to be one area, to be honest. One big, big area that doesn't load. 
Oh, no. Them seasons be changing, though. Maybe it's the music as well that it reminds me of Firewatch. Like, I don't know. Whole ambiance. Although this is obviously way more calming. A My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. Oh, so he's growing up a bit. That's it what it is. Popular okay. Or unpopular. The seasons they be changing. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes. Did it all. Roadkill and oh, that's the fireworks. Break windows of the barber shop in Anchorage. My dad was furious. Anchorage. But he was okay. so busy working, he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living. Very true. He couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. Yeah. Oh no, I messed that double jump up. Oh, what's he trying to tell me here? Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there another... Something about uh, a butterfly spin and then double jump. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Butterfly spinning around and then a double jump. What is that? I don't know what that is. It sounds like something that they probably shouldn't be looking up, right? I've just, I've just gamed it. Doesn't matter. There we go. I'll just I'll just jump up a wall constantly and hope for the best. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go up here yet though, because there was more for me to explore over there. I don't want to go out of this area without exploring the other areas. What they've got to do is make this all make sense as well. Um, whatever order you do it in, I guess. Which is quite hard for doing this. Oh! These are the butterflies we're supposed to get. And it makes your first... Ah, it makes your first jump big. More of these stars. Star, star, starias. Police car. I think we got into some real... Some real stuff that we shouldn't have got into by the looks of it. You know? Well, I say we. The guy. The guy who's having the dream. Which I guess we take the place of now, right? Maybe. Or maybe we're just his first owner. I'm not sure. Um. Right. Let's take a dig. Working another late night, and my friends were over, saying how bored they were and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage, and how okay. we should take it for a spin. Yeah. I was only 15. Oh, so no. I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were careening around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. Felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But borrowed off some butterflies? Things, Cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after oh, he saw no, some no. rocket into someone's yard. What followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. So there's nothing going, nothing, nothing like harmful going on, right? Well, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't got hurt or anything. He's just, you know, bit of a, bit of a rebellious childhood-ish. You know, he's a little bit of. A little bit of a, you know, toy train thing. He didn't really appreciate the toy trains, I guess, that his dad made and stuff. But it did inspire him to be a lumberjack, so, you know. 
I'm not sure where this is going exactly still. 